one in four people will experience a mental health issue at some point in their life. I think that it can infect anyone at any given time. We all have positive mental health days and I suppose days where we don't travel so well. We've seen an enormous amount of change in um, mental health service delivery over the last 15 to 20 years. You know, when I first started, it was very much institutionalised care. Now it's much more community based. The whole reason that we moved towards a, towards a supported transitional accommodation was to appropriately place people um, opposed to them living on the street. So it's not meant to be um, a quick fix, but it's meant to teach them pivotal life skills so that they can move forward and sustain their own tenancies independently. There's not one quick fix. It's a, a team or a stream of services or supports. When they manage to get a home, which is just lovely. How can we help them keep that home? How can we keep it in good repair? How can we teach them the life skills of someone who may not have had a permanent house before? They may have been couch surfing or homeless for years. Budgeting, um, personal planning for themselves. How do I budget and plan um, for meal preparation? How do I budget and plan for travel assistance? How do I get from A to B when I don't understand or comprehend how to navigate public transport? People don't choose to be homeless. They don't choose to have to raise their children in the backs of cars. They don't choose to have to shower and um, uh, uh, use the amenities at public uh, parks. People don't choose that lifestyle most of the time. That lifestyle is forced upon them through their circumstances. Sustaining tenancies is probably one of the number one um, complexity around supporting individuals. We all need to collectively work together if we're going to have any sort of system change that really impacts upon the lives of people who live with mental illness every day. We can see a broken leg and we fix it. We see that it's in plaster. We can't always see mental illness. Um, so a lot of people live with it and live with the challenges. Good mental health is not just about good clinical services, it's about good connected services around housing, employment, community managed support and good clinical care.